Would everyone join me in giving a warm welcome to the Saskatoon Stallions to the NHL. There we are in the Central Division, messing up the rankings and everything. Look at that, only shows two through nine. You gotta love it. Insert a 33-team expansion and you, you have a weird uh, <laughs> weird setup and on, on your ranking thing. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That'll be fixed, I'm sure, for NHL 23. Welcome, everyone. This is a Draft to Glory franchise mode. If you're not aware of what that is, I will explain that in just a moment. But first things first, you guys know the drill. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that like button right now. And, uh... I want to I want I want to hear from the comment section which what which of you guys watched the draft to glory from last year. I want to hear you guys sound off if you didn't watch that. It was pretty entertaining despite a couple naysayers saying I didn't do it properly, but here's the thing. Um I do what I want. It's a draft to glory. It's not going to be exactly as the great creator of draft to glory did it too because he's like, "Yeah, don't do it like I do it." <laughs> he's like, "Just do it. Do it how you want to do it." So, uh, permission from the man himself. As if I need permission. I carry that podcast, baby. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so settings. Uh, I'll give you guys a bit of a rundown on what's going on. Uh, I I alter the sliders. This is what I do for all the franchise mo modes. Uh, crank up attribute effects to 10 out of 10 for more realistic kind of scoring and stuff like that. That's how I do that. Of course, we go injury settings to 20 and 20. So, if it seems like there's a lot of injuries happen, there's going to be other years where a lot of injuries don't happen. And I, I know I'm already going to get comments. Turn them, turn the injuries down. Yeah, they're always what they are. They are what they are. Um, yeah, what I do here? Yeah. Trying to just think of everything. Uh, oh, I want to change that. Fully healed, that's for sure. No uh, auto-rotates on. I know there's a way I can just turn off them offering me trades, but it's not computer trades because, yeah, we want them to trade with each other. Uh, we're setting back draft class quality and generate prospect quality to medium for this. Uh, because our goal is just draft, draft, draft. I usually have it on high, and that's mostly to help out the AI teams because they're terrible, and I'm just like trying to give them better prospects, I guess. I don't know if it works. Because uh, here's the thing I'm always going to find good prospects when I'm allowed to scout and draft like nine to 12 players a year. They're not. So, anyway, uh, we'll set it back though for this draft to glory, make things a bit more challenging. Morale meetings are off, of course, and Fog of War is off because, yeah. Let's see here. We did all that. Felt like I had some advanced settings or something to look at, but eh. Anyway, I'll, I'll figure out that, uh, if anyone knows exactly, I don't want to look for the setting right now, but where that thing is. So, um, for how to train off, turn off the, uh, being offered trades. I mean, it's easy enough. I can just alter the trade block. I usually don't get offered too many trades anyway, but yeah, since we cannot trade, as part of this game mode. So what this is essentially in the expansion draft, we take all the basically the worst players available. The point of this mode is to just build a team up from drafting. We cannot trade whatsoever. So we can't gain draft picks, we can't gain players, we can't move draft picks, etc. so forth. We can't trade up in the draft. What we get is what we get, but the point is your team's going to be so ass that hopefully you get enough top picks that you start to have you know, kind of a good team, or they don't even have to all be top picks, just enough decent players, so scouts are going to be important, uh, coaches are probably going to be relatively important, and of course, drafting is going to be important, so, well, hope for the best here, and see what happens, but those are the basics of it, um, there's some minor other things, I think I got to keep, like, getting the worst players of element free agency, I can't hold on to people for a certain amount of time, which is what people were bitching about last time, because I was stat growthing all these 60s into, like, the, the mid-70s, and they were actually getting, like, 50 points a season, oh my god, what a travesty, I, I wasn't shit enough, so I'll do my best to appease everyone here, even though I know that's not going to be possible, but let's get up to that expansion draft, yeah, 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 and, uh, where are we picking? Apparently we're not. Huh? <laughs> Am I missing something? Do we not? Do we not get to draft? I guess we don't get to draft. What am I missing? Buffalo, Seattle, Anaheim, New Jersey. We're supposed to draft on like the top eight, aren't we? Okay, we're off to a good start here. We may not get to draft. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I haven't done a 32, a 33, whatever, 33 team expansion. Um, and maybe we broke it already. I did do the advanced contract uh, one year, so it shouldn't do that thing where it messes up people's contracts. 
Um, but yeah, we're off to a good start. Doesn't look like they're going to allow us to draft. They know how powerful... Oh my goodness, really? We're doing this, aren't we? We know how powerful I am at drafting. So they're like, alright, we're going to hamper you even more. You're not allowed to draft in this bullcrap made-up draft. So I guess... I don't know. Maybe that's a glitch or something like that. Either way. <laughs> oh boy, alright. Who do we want from Anaheim? 75, that's too good. Oh man. Alright, well we're taking him. Simone Benoit, who's 22, and that's probably illegal, but we don't care. At this point, EA just has a terrible team. There we go, a 68, baby. Let me give me give me Blake Spears. That's a true Coyote player right there. 68 overall. Put him on the first line. Oh, 68 goaltender. I think we got to take that. That seems like it'll be shit. Mm. 74 is kind of bad, too, but... I'm taking Ogilvy. They're the same, so I'm going to take Ogilvy because of the name. We're going to get the memes going bright and early here in this one. 72, 73. Hmm. I know I need some more goaltenders here, but I'm going to need some wingers. Let's take Justin Kirkland. And the goal here is to not have an... Ooh, 69 defenseman. The goal here is to not have any of these guys for too long, obviously, so I don't care about... Yeah, that, like, that goaltender could have become like, maybe even a backup, but couldn't really use him. Andrew Shaw! Let's go! I didn't even know he still existed in this game. My goodness. Alright, another 69. We're just going to rack up the 69s as many as we can. And that's going to make our team extremely powerful. Alright, let's grab a 68 goaltender. I know there's a 63 guy in there, but we are going to need... I'm just trying to grab the worst goaltenders. Another defenseman. Let's do that. I'm not going to like go out of my way to try to find the worst actual player on each team. I could get another center. Where are we at? I have only one left winger. Okay. 69 left winger. You got it. You convinced me. Nope. Can't get Skinner. I'll be, I'll be too sad when I have to give him up. I can't do it. <laughs> Mr. Franchise back up himself. Rupsov. All right. I guess we're going with Rupsov. He's 22. Again, doesn't really matter. Once these guys expire, essentially, we got to get rid of them, I think. That's at least what everyone demanded of me last time. And I wasn't doing. Because I was like, I'm just going to stack growth, guys. It's going to be funny. And then people were calling it illegitimate win because of... Even though I won with an entire team that was drafted by me, they said, because I did that earlier, oh, it's illegitimate. And I told them to all lick my taint. And they did. And they smiled about it. Um, Videmo, I guess. That's a lot of centers. Can we get, like, not any centers now? There we go. All right. The goalies aren't... Come on, we have any more? Oh my goodness. Jeremy Grillo. What a terrible, terrible player. Let's go. Another center, but there's a 71 goaltender, so, or sorry, 71 defenseman. And I do need more defensemen, so we'll grab him. Alrighty, what else? Elmer. 73 isn't bad. I do need more goaltenders, at least one more. I'm hoping to find another one of those crap ones. We can go back and swap something out if we need to. How many defensemen we at? Alright, let's grab him. And Philly, you should have plenty of garbage for us to choose from. Your entire franchise is garbage. More defensemen, huh? Matthew Strom, who? Is he an actual Strom? Come on, Pittsburgh. Oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? We do need more wingers. Actually, kind of right wingers, but... We're kind of okay on defense, but I don't want to take too many. Or do we need nine? I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> I forget how this works. It doesn't matter. We're just clicking on stuff at this point. Ooh, right winger, which we do kind of need. Lol, San Jose. Let's, let's hoard all the fringe goaltenders, they said. Seventy. Seventy might be the lowest we get for a goaltender at this point, so I'm gonna put him in there. Watch the next one be under seventy. Nope. Alright, we'll get Richard there. Plenty of centers now. 
Again, they could always play wing and crab. Oh, boy. 66 defenseman. And he's on Toronto, so he's playing in the top six. You get it? Because Toronto's defensive core is shit. Dislike, dislike, dislike. <laughs> Think the first round's exits speak for themselves. Oh, right winger, let's go. Some Euro, dude. And, okay, too many defensemen. Hmm. Too many everything. I legit do need another left winger, I guess, at this point. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just forwards, and it just doesn't care. But I do have way too many defensemen. So if I get a center, will it bitch me out? Oh, I need to get one more. Come on, give me a left winger. There we go, Dr. Seuss. I think, all right, I think I hit the minimums on everything. So, yeah, we should be good. That's just go, what we're going to go with. That's our team. There's our team. Finish draft. Lock it in. Lock it in. Best expansion draft ever. So there we are, bunch of, bunch of no names. Except for Cramarosa. Remember him? Remember Cramarosa? Yeah, he's on our team now. So draft interviews. Uh, do we do we care? Because it said we're not allowed to draft. <laughs> I'm going to say maybe we're allowed to draft. Wow, two ADs, two way forwards, and a DFD. Maybe it's a good thing we're not allowed to draft. <laughs> oh, boy. Come on, give me a low elite. I guarantee you're not going to see. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Well, I, I might I might be able to find a blind pick. I might get extremely lucky. I'm not even going to bother interviewing. What the hell is this? It's, it's not even it's not even a real draft. Skip. Oh, okay. All right, NHL entry draft. Are you sure? Cuz it said we weren't allowed to pick. <laughs> we'll do our best here. Can we make selections? Oh, we get the first. What? Did I did I miss that? Or let's see. Okay, it does have 33. Uh maybe I misread it. But I'm pretty sure I didn't, unless I did, and I'm just blind and everyone's been yelling. Oh hey, we get the first overall selection in the fake draft. Let's go. So that's beautiful. Uh a right a defenseman or a two-way forward winger. Loyalty is a concern, or right defenseman, two-way D, cycle hold line, which is very interesting. Not too sure if I like that. It's also this guy, shoot, pinch, wow, okay. Well, we're going to have, looks like, one guy who's actually going to be NHL ready, which is going to be awesome. Kind of funny. <sighs> yeah, I really don't know if I like cycle hold line. I'm just thinking for the future. This guy's fine. Behind the net, balance, shoot, balance, balance. It's I'm honestly going to trend towards the forward, I think, in this case. I know this doesn't matter as much. But, uh, he does. He's going to have X factors to help offset some of that. That's just weird. Cycle and hold line is kind of weird. And it doesn't look like he's actually going to have great X factors. Kavasha has a good chance to actually have zone ability. I'm going to go with Vitaly Kavasha. Doing it. He's 79 elite. First line for you immediately. <laughs> Uh, I don't, and alright, that's the thing. Am I allowed to shelter? That's what I, because I think before I was sheltering people, like, I was like, I drafted him. I'm going to put him in the AHL for a year, and people are like, eh, you got to put him in the fucking main roster. Um, even though, like, I was like, I, I, I can shelter him, right? And just, like, put him in the AHL for a year while we're complete shit. I know I can't do that forever. Let's establish that right now. Am I allowed to play this guy in the AHL for, like, a year to prevent him just, just to give him a bit more growth, or do I have to stick him on the NHL immediately? Let's settle that right now. I'm open for either. Damn it, he didn't have his own ability, but that's okay. Um, I'm open for either. Either. So let's let's settle that right now. Can I shelter guys in the AHL um, and like wait till they're like near NHL ready to also make our team more shit? Like he, that. Here's the other thing about that. It's also gonna make our team more shit, so we can get better draft picks. So that's my argument for it. I'm, I'm less on the fence now. I actually kind of do want the ability to shelter guys and keep my a NHL team shit. But uh, you guys, let me know what you guys think. And don't don't base it off what other people do in Draft the Glories. This is our Draft the Glory. Anyway, that's our first selection. Let's see how good some of those other guys were. He was the same overall. No, he, he had less... Act we got the better guy. Wow, that's a steep drop-off. Kolosov. Whoa, whoa. What? 
Where was it? Where was it? Was that the guy who was projected to go? Pardon me? Was he the guy projected to go? No. Oh, he wasn't an actual two. Oh, well, I, I missed. Yeah, I guess he wasn't an actual two way. Sad, sad panda. That was the best guy. That was legit the best guy. Boris Sadikov. Damn. I know he's slightly less overall, but I would have taken a center playmaker. All right. Well, we don't care. Oh, man. Isn't there an elite missing? Yes, there is. And he goes to Detroit. Hey, it's not a center. Unbelievable. See, Seattle saved them. Seattle's like, they're going to take this fucking center. Like, dumbasses. We better take them. And they took them. And now they, they, they saved New Jersey from themselves. Chad. Absolute Chad, Seattle. Good job. Up to 36 we go. And some awful, awful things here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're not going to get anything good here. It's going to be like top nines and shit. Wait. Five-year ETA, though. Maybe he's a top six because he got worse ETA. That probably means nothing. Hmm. I'm also like, there's going to be some real guys in here, too. Is he Hal or Todd's kid, Justin Gill? Be interesting to know that. Colin like, you know what? Ooh. I'm going to blind pick this guy because I like that he's a low. And I like that he sounds made up. And I like that the ETA's around there. Come on, low elite. Give it to me. Give it to me. Do the thing. Ah, low top nine. <laughs> Damn. Oh, we got the 69th pick. This is going to be a steal. This is going to be a steal, baby. Automatic steal right here. Auto steal. Do I keep trying for low elites? Christopher Willent. That sounds like such a real name. I don't think EA could even generate something that weird. It's not really weird. He's just Polish, but, you know. Jim Shea. Although, mm, I'd have to get really, really lucky to be able to find a find a good steal in here. It's going to be so difficult. Yeah. I wonder if they have any. Let's check out goaltenders. What are we looking at there? Oh, they're not even coming to way later. Like, any of them. Alright, we can wait. Ugh, I'm just gonna keep going for low elites here, honestly. Nope. <laughs> low seven. This one's going great. Okay, now I can look at some goaltenders, probably. Grachev, nah. Mediums. You're not gonna find any medium elite steals in this one. I, I highly doubt it, at least. Uh, Baikov, I'm pretty sure, is absolutely nothing. I feel like I've seen him before. But then again, everyone else is absolutely nothing. Kimo Toskala, though. Ah, uh, why do I... It's going to be awful. Fringe starter. Well, maybe he actually becomes a, uh, a backup. That's the best we can hope for. I'm just going to go for lows at this point now. So, Radulov, Oleg Radulov, low elite, please. Lay low six. You know what? That's not even half bad. Low six at this point. Let's go. What else? Strudwick. Walker Taves. Let's go for Larry Strudwick. Low seven. Yeesh. Alright, that's probably... Probably it's an old... No low elite steal here. Oh my goodness. Elijah Chichu. It's, I wish it would go up to a, a, a top four, but it ain't. I just know it's not. So I'm not going to get my hopes up. Cam Squires is such a real name, right? I'm going to go for the 17-year-old because that has bigger chance to actually be EA generated. And low nine. And it's grinder, though. You know what? Walker Taves, grinder. I'm taking it. All right, so that's our draft. Terrible. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, we, we, got the, we got Kavasha. We have an elite. So there we are. And just like that. Oh, we gotta go up to resign phase. There shouldn't be too much we have to do, right? But we're also gonna take a look at coaches and stuff like that. Well, I guess we'll sign Kavasha, because again. Maybe we could play him in the A. Maybe you guys will let me have fun. Uh I'll sign a couple of these guys, because yeah, I'm just not gonna let them go. I, you know, got them for a reason. We need guys on the team. Let's get a Get them to a couple, whatever the heck they want. And that should be it for that. We're still going to have to sign some guys. We only have 31 dudes on the roster. And we do have to spend some money. 
So, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Um, let's just advance. I didn't even have to. They should both sign, so. Yeah, everyone signed. We'll go right up to free agency now. Oh, I'm aware. Of what the contract. Here we are, free agency. And I can't even do coaches. So, okay. I guess we'll have. I didn't have. I don't have auto management on, do I? Because I, I shouldn't. I'm just gonna make sure I don't, because that would be a little bit. Bad. I don't want that. Head coach edit lines. Auto staff management is off. No, okay. I guess you just can't do it in this first season. Maybe because when you, yeah, I think I think it's it's I think it's because when a normal franchise mode starts, it's already after all of this. I'm guessing that sounds like EA logic to me. So that that's that's the guess on that. Uh, there will be we have to sign some guys in free agency, but the thing is, we have to be all the shit ones. We can't get anyone here. None of these cool guys got to go. Like that, and pick them out and pay them. So we'll grab no now. No. We'll grab a few of these guys. We have to get another goaltender as well. Hey, there's a Natchez, but let's get like the the guys who are you know, basically who we can actually give money to because we can't give money to those guys. They all want entries. So that's likely uh, uh what we're gonna do here. For this, I'm just uh. Checking time. Can we just knock that out? Oh, we're knocking that out. We're 100% knocking that out here. I didn't realize how quickly I flew through those first two things. Guess it's easy when you're just taking the worst guys available, huh? So let's do it. Let's just knock it all out here. We'll get ourselves ready. Maybe we can even sim the first... I don't know. We'll see about simming the entire first year. But first and foremost, let's just knock all this out of the park. And I'll just do a one-year deals and... Can't fool me. All right, let's pay him 16 mil. I'll just do the big contracts first. Wait a sec. It showed the stupid uh, Seattle AHL team logo right there. Did you see that? It totally did that. And it shouldn't. I'll see if it does that again. All right, a couple big contracts for the... Now, oh, now it shows Burnaby. I swear to God, it showed the pineapple. I swear it showed that pineapple. Mm, I'm on to you. I'm on to your game. Doesn't really matter who we get. Uh, where are we at? 16 plus another 16, 32 plus... Eh, I'll just get one more of those. I don't know. And then probably the rest we won't have to spend that much money on. Let's grab this guy. We only need one goaltender, so... He can just be... There. Because now we'll have four goaltenders. So there we are. Even though we didn't really need to... Get him. It would have just. It would have probably given me one, and it would have been better than whatever the heck this guy is. Uh, let me advance a couple days here, and see where we're at money wise. <laughs> that would help. Okay. Yeah. Uh, someone tell me where the heck that's. <laughs> it hey, we're doing a draft of glory, and and assistant GM's like, trade all your picks, trade all your picks. That's a good idea. Yeah, everyone likes money. All right, where are we at cap wise now? Oh, we still have 19 mil of cap space. We have 36 dudes under contract. All right, who else wants to join our team? Defenseman. We can do one more big, big contract like that. And then the rest will just have to get to, to crap. Oops. We'll do that. Maybe another defenseman for fun. As a treat, another defense one. And I'm just trying to get up to 40. So that's one, two, three, or is that four? Anyway, we'll get one more just for for lulls, and then that'll be it. There we are. That should be fine. All right, so if we get up to 40, that'll be enough, guys, for everything. Boom. Boom. All right. This is going to be weird, man. I can't scroll up. It's only always going to has it's goes Well, I guess we could do the uh the power of uh subtraction and at least it's a western team. I'll know all the all the proper divisions. I always get the Atlantic and the Met confused and who's where. Or at least I have to think about it for a second. I'm just like, "Hmm, who's missing? The Wild, the Prez, the Now I put myself on the spot and I actually don't know who's missing. Good job. All right. Um 
That's gonna bug me now. Who the fuck is missing? Stars, Black, uh, uh not Winnipeg. <laughs> Minnesota. No, they're there. Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> my brain's not on all the way yet. I shouldn't have done that. Now y'all think I'm stupid. You might be half right. Okay, so that's our team, essentially. We have, like, 40 contracts, which is enough. We got, we got 4.6 mil of cap space. And we got Kavasha, who is our best player. So, we will sim up now. And I'll get the lines and stuff taken care of. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And by getting the lines set up, I mean just having best lines. Because, <laughs> let's be honest, are we going to bother? No. Uh, we got Braden Burke, Lucas Vademo, Max Verano. Absolute stallions on this first line. Studs and stallions. Well, they are stallions, but they're also stallions. You know what I mean? Uh, Kirkland, Rupsov, Mallinson. This is a tough line. Yeah. That's a tough boy line right there. Power forward, a two-way. Mallinston. Richard! Uh, Dudas. Henry. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Ogilvy. Ogilvy. And Shaw. And uh, here's our... <laughs> Look at the chemistry! <laughs> Benoit Hutton. Leslie Fitzgerald. Zach and Almari. Hofer and Kaiser. Kramer, why is Cramarosa scratched? Excuse me. Listen here, Dudas. Sit the fuck down. We're getting Cramarosa in there. <laughs> uh, you know why? Because you're 21 and this coach is being... <laughs> this team is being coached by John Tortorella. He prefers... Oh, it's... It's it's Joseph Cramarosa. Who's the other Cramarosa I'm thinking of? Is it Justin? Or was it Joseph Cramarosa? And I've been saying his name. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, Cramarosa, it's a great name. Yeah, it's a funny name, Terry Ferguson. So that's that. Uh, I am going to put Kavasha here. I made a ruling on at least for this year, because you guys weren't able to say it. But for the future, am I or am I not allowed to show? It's not even much sheltering of the guy. He's going to have a slightly better time in the HL. The HL team is still shit. The HL team is absolutely awful. So, like, he's not going to have that much better of a time. He's just, well... I don't know. Hopefully going to do slightly better. Who knows? He's listed as depth. It's essentially just for the sake of his maybe growth. <laughs> That's about it. And I'm, yeah, I can't. Uh, can I do the coaches? Yeah, I can do the coaches. I can't. I show where the. Oh, I can't show jerseys. I guess we have to wait till next season. Guess we might have to wait till next season. Unless I missed it. I might have missed it. So uh, I'll, I always I always miss the slight window that you have to check on the jerseys. I'll show you guys that hopefully in the next video. Can I actually give myself good AHL teaching coaches? Maybe, maybe not. Of course, we got Bob Saget, who's a fine teacher, but let's see. Because I don't care about my a NHL, really. That can remain the same. But it's the AHL, which I want to see if I can maybe get some good teaching coaches. Oof. Well, A-, minus, A-, minus, generalist and defenseman. I'm going to hire them. Generals will be my HL head coach. We're definitely gonna hire these guys. Um, I want because again, if Kavash is gonna be there, I'm gonna have I'm gonna try to get good teaching. That's for sure. So we'll sign him for three years. He's good, and we'll get the baba. Maybe I can get all generalists because there's a two B minuses, but there's also him. Let's see if there's a forward coach in there with good teaching. Probably not general. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I do go trip generalist. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go trip gen generalist just for the, uh, just for the teaching. HL associate for Neil Timmons. Because they're all A-minus, solid. And then we have, a the teaching goaltender. We already have a good one there. That doesn't really matter, though. I'm gonna grab you for the AHL assistant. Mauricio de Kaiser. And we'll do that. We'll fire the other dudes. All right, HL head coach, bye. Because none of them have good teaching. We want the teaching. And we'll keep the other guys. And that'll be fine. Oh, I'm aware. I'm, I'm legitimately hiring someone. What? Okay, I guess I have to make this guy interim? I can't. What the fuck? Huh? What? 
I would. Okay, uh, I'll have to do a weird thing here, I guess. Oh, because it's about to start the. Se Wait a second. Oh yeah, because I couldn't do it before. So okay, uh, that's fine. We can we can cheese this, and I oh I won't. Uh, I gotta do. Ah, uh, I wanted to do scouts too. Ah, oh, there's so much I wanted to do here. Well, I guess I'll give you guys a little look and to see how I uh, uh, do some scouting, I guess. Actually, we didn't have bad scouts by the looks of it. What are our worst ones? Whoa! Not half bad. We're still firing a bunch. So, alright, I'll give you guys a brief look into how I actually do some scouts here. Because we got some time. So, not even half bad, some of these scouts. We're not going to have any of those, but let's just get seven guys who are at least C. And we don't really care where they are. They're just to fill some spaces now. Six years lol, you're getting fired. To all you guys are getting fired. What the hell? What six? Oh, five. Breaking, breaking ground. Speaking of five, there's my fifth, sixth, and seven. All right, we'll do that, and we'll also go for all those coaches. Very, very bizarre how it wasn't letting me advance, but I guess it does make sense. Yes, I'm aware we have. All right, uh, so we got the HL assistant. Going to get scouts as well. I'll assign all of them when they're all hired, and I'll make sure they're all in the right spot. I'm aware, I'm aware, Burroughs, I'll get you, I'll get you back. Okay. So we got Neil Timmons. Now, what we're going to do is cheese it a little bit. Here. Get out of here, scouts. I mean, get get in here, but also get out of here. Alright, so what we're going to have to do... Now, can I demote him and then go higher? <laughs> no, it won't let me do that. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, um... I can't actually do what I want to do then. Oh, yes, I can. Hold on. HL head coach. I'm going to have to hire that guy as my goalie coach. Fire the other guy. <laughs> That's so stupid. Who was it? Burroughs? Alright, hire him as my HL goalie coach, which hopefully he accepts. <laughs> Fire the other guy, then rehire him or someone with as good of teaching as him. Although it really doesn't matter for the goalie coach. Okay. Hopefully he accepts this. This is so stupid. <laughs> By the way, we won a we won a uh, preseason game. All right, more scouts off to redo them as well. Like I said, that should be all of them though by this point. Okay, he joined. Now what we have to do is fire him and then promote him to head coach. There we go. Now we can hire a goalie coach. Because there should not be an easier way to do that. That's the most efficient way possible. So we actually get a better goalie coach. Look at that. Budget remaining. Ne negative 1.1 million. That's how I do. Pro budgeter here. For those of you wondering, I always get a question or comment. How do I go above uh, cap? You, you just can't. If you have owner mode off, you can go the, the staff caps do not matter. Scouts, everything. All right, speaking of which... We're going to need, okay, how I like to do things here is uh, obviously no NHL or AHL scouts. Oh, we actually have, it's almost all right. Look at that. All right, so we're going to need, and then I do two for each major league. So like two Russia, two Liga, two SHL. One of these guys should be good enough for the Liga. B minus, A, probably the best there. A plus. Okay, switch him to the Liga. So I'm, I'm just showing this because I, I do get some questions. I was, I don't know, maybe I'll have to make an actual scouting tutorial again. It's been a few years since I made one. It has changed. At least my strategy has changed quite a bit since then. All right, USA East. Two of them in the East. We don't want that. Central and West. One of them is going to move to Central. Uh, UA minus there and UA there. So you're moving to Central. So two in the Central because I consider that and also a major league. So there we go. And one in the West, 2Q, I have too many in the O, we did have someone in the NLA, oh, I'm missing a Russia, yeah, I'm missing one for Russia, because Russia is also a major league, let's see, any of these guys, D, E, <laughs> probably not, 
C minus, probably not the worst. Uh, I'll go with Shing Time there. Probably not getting too much better than that. We're likely going to be replacing a lot of these guys anyway. He'll get to A at the end of this year for efficiency. So no, no real worries there. Two, two, two. NLA got all the USA. Got all the uh, those now. These are all. All right, so Dell or Ice. NLA we already have Ice probably. All right, so D's probably the best we're getting for there. Yeah, okay. So Tomorns is going to Ice, I believe. Yep, Ice. These don't matter. There's like two people in each of these leagues. All right, Eastwood was going to be... Oh, he's going to have to be something terrible, like extra league. Oh, man. Because Dell... I got to I gotta take advantage of that beautiful C-, minus, right? For the Dell. I could check the NLA guy, and he might actually be good in the extra league. And then NLA. Because NLA is, I think, one of the shittest ones. Uh, oh, well, extra... Yeah, B. B for extra league. Let's go. Because extra league is actually one of the more... Yeah, let's see how many players are there compared to the NLA. So we want an actual decent scout for that. And then this last guy will be NLA. And there you are. That's how I do my scouts. And then, of course, I keep looking for the best ones. And again, efficiency really doesn't... Or region accuracy, it really doesn't matter. I guess that, it used to be called... Oh, then it says efficiency here. Well, there you go. Because um, if even at E, they're going to bounce up to like a B by the end of the season. So... After, after this, you just look for the best scouts available and then put them in the roles, and there you eventually have that A-plus, uh, that crack team. So there we are. Everything is all set up, and we're going to just power through this season as well, and we're going to get ready for the draft in the next one because we got a little bit of time. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do that. And uh, it's a great way to stay in shape. Yeah, we're done with everything. Yeah, we're all good. We are all good. Let's go. All the way. All the way past everything. We're not even checking stats. Because we do not care. We're going to see what our final record is. And that's about it. <laughs> Keep firing coaches. You're welcome. Alright. Well, let's see what happens. I might even just let Auto Scout do most of the work too. I might not even. Ah, might, that might be just too hard. We'll see what happens here. But uh, expect to see a lot of those kind of games. We'll let Auto Scout get going. I'll do that. A little bit of scouting, I guess. Probably, I probably should scout. <laughs> probably shouldn't leave it up to the AI. All right, let's do this crap again. And again, I'll learn how to actually turn off them offering me trades, I guess. I never, I, I don't know if I've ever seen the option for it, though. How the hell do we have three wins, bro? That's nuts. Injuries as well, I'm just going to hit best lines. Wow, we had a one nothing shot. What the hell? How are we this close to 500? Oh, EA. Your sim engine is perfect. Absolute, of course it's going to be a goaltender that gets injured. Why the heck not? Why the heck not? They both have to clear waivers. We know they're not getting claimed. I could just best line out because I got Cramarosa in there. <laughs> we got Cramarosa in there. We can't, can't mess that up. See, we got a better goaltender. Sorry, Andre, you still are the backup. <laughs> Even with some scrub being called up from the goddamn. Maybe I do go to best lines. I'm not even trying to I'm not even trying to meme. <laughs> Let's be real. Fuck Cramarosa. Wait, was that the goaltender? Hold on. <laughs> I don't remember names. Hey, some guy's above 0.5 points per game. Look at him. No, that was the other goaltender. Wait, no. Yeah, he is back. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, okay, hold on. Johnson goes back in, then I guess the other guy back down. They don't have to, but I'm gonna. Wait. Wasn't it supposed to be him? I don't fucking know. I thought it was a guy who had to clear waivers. Oh, whatever. That's fine. I could be cheeky and keep the other guy in. You know what? I will. He's slightly better. That'll help. That'll give us, like, an extra win. Right? Oh, my God! There are two... <laughs> Shit, maybe I should have had the guy on the main roster. Whoa! Uh, oh, actually, I do want to check out his growth, so I should stop at some point. Because if, if he is ready, I might call him up and put him in his uh, preferred line. So, you know what? I'll stop at the deadline. <laughs> or, yeah, I'll stop at the deadline. And we'll check on him. And see if he needs some uh, NHL time. 
Oh boy. All right, now I will actually do some scouting here because this is going to be quite important. This is going to be quite important. Mm, maybe if I can actually click on some dudes. Is it all glitched? It better not be. No, it's not going to be all glitched. Okay. I don't remember what this guy is. Okay. We'll just do our normal thing. Basically, spot scout for all... Well, for the first round, we're going to get as much looked at as possible. Even though we're likely picking in that top five. But, yeah. Fortunately, we know what most of those are. So, it's really just about... Finding the best players, and if we, we, we're going to likely go off the board for some of them, because we're only going to have seven picks per year. So, yeah. Eh, not a whole lot of good there. I'd love to find some low elites here, though. That's for damn sure. And again, it's going to be, we could have tons of guys that we find, but we're only going to be allowed to pick certain amounts. Yeah, Camp Squires is still there. Interesting. That's a very interesting location right there for a medium. I'd love to see him pan out to something. We'll see. Byron Funk. God, what a name. What a goddamn name. Whew. I'm taking Byron Funk. I hope he's I hope he's good, because I'm taking him. I think the guys with accents uh, on their names are actually real, because I don't... I think EA may generate some accents, but it's definitely... Not that often that they do. So, who knows. Anywho. Uh, be great to find a goaltender early on, too. But, we'll have to see what the EA gods grant us in these drafts. Not a whole lot. I'm scouting all these mediums, too, just in case there's top six, there's top four, is that kind of stuff. Because that is going to be important. We can't just be like, oh, elites only, because we're, we're not going to have that. We're simply not going to have that luxury in this sort of mode. Kimo Tosco's still there. I'm kind of glad I didn't go for him, because he seems real. I don't know. Blood off. Damn, dude, some of these names are dope. Except for you, Russo. Terrible. All right, um... <laughs> in the 1000s alright that's gonna be that oh boy we're not scoring Devin Dubnik we can't clean people off waivers either right I'm assuming there we go now we're starting to lose baby oh it's the avalanche <clears throat> it was the avalanche before I was missing I, I, I found it I'm the world's greatest detective icy water good times um, by best lines, it should be fine. Even though I switched some stuff up, who the heck cares? Just gonna keep best lines in from now, or for now, or from now on, basically. Nah, shit. Oh, whatever. Next time it pops up, we don't care about him. See? <laughs> hey, we won. Two to one win. All right, scouting time, real quick. All right, continuing on here. Two wins in a row. We're breaking some new ground. My goodness. Look at that. And we got a point in an accident. Look at that three-game point streak. Good gracious. Saskatoon. Whoa! Whoa! Couture and Carlson to Buffalo with a third for... <laughs> they get Kolosov, two seconds, and Jack Quinn. Okay! Sick trade. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, that was, no, that was our boy. That was our boy, Kavasha. Going down with an injury. Hopefully he comes back before the deadline. I didn't even see what it said. Oh, my goodness. Imagine playing Destiny 2. There he is. He's back from outer space. All right, let's stop it. I just want to make sure I'm stopping in the right spot. Okay. Even though it doesn't matter. We're not trading at the deadline. What am I talking? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. I did want to check. Uh, we're in ninth place. Wow. 26 points, baby. We have 29 points. I'm not... You know I'm not checking stats. Uh, Alright, maybe I will for funny. For the funnies. Let's see. Hey, some growth. Um, Kavasha. Oh, he only grew by 9, man. He's up to 80. He does. He has listed as third liner. So, I should call him up and play him on the third line. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
So there we go. I won't keep sheltering him because, again, it's not much shelter on that anyway. How many? How is he? Oh, dude, he's actually doing quite good. Oh, fuck. Now I don't want to call him up. It's not like he was growing incredibly well. And this won't count as his uh, rookie season because it'll be under 25 games. So, yeah. <laughs> what are we like, I'm actually going to get the dude. Uh... All right, so we'll send down Dudas. And call up Kavasha. Here we are. And I'll play him on the... I know I could play him higher, but I'm going to play him on the third line. Good. Oh, wow. 80. What? 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 Hold on a second. What? He's... He, what? I c Ooh. Can I get better chemistry? Not really. But okay, he's... Huh, alright, he's ready for second line, apparently. I called him up and then he jumped more. What the hell was that? Burnaby can best lines, but, uh, what? I'm not, like, mad or anything. That's inc- What? What happened there? Hold on, let me check. Did his- Did his growth go up? After that, is- Yes! What? I don't know if I've ever seen that. That's dope. Oh my gosh! Oh, his poor offensive awareness. Oh, he's growing like one of those guys. Oh, no. Shootout specialist. Oh, please. Please get your offensive awareness up. Oh, no. <laughs> please get your offensive awareness up. Put him on the shootout immediately. Hold on. Hold on. He's our Datsuk. Screw you, Burke. It's all about Kavasha. Get him in there. His morale's to shit, but he should get a bit happier being here. There we go. Um, I'll just keep... Yeah, we'll finish this off. We'll finish off the season. And then I can give you guys a look at the uh, the incoming draft class as well, so you get an idea of what we got to uh, look for. So let's see if any other major trades happen here at the downline. Uh, it's taking a while. There might be a couple. Nope, never mind. Jack Johnson on waivers. <laughs> There's your major move. Three wins in a row, Kavasha! Hero! Alright, then we're back to shit. It was cool for a minute. Jake Middleton. Oh. How dare you put Jake on waivers. Alright, I'll do some scouting real quick. Alrighty, continuing on here. Look at that. Three goals per game in those two games. Absolutely killing it. Look at us go. Oh, that's all. That's all. That's all our boy. That's all Kavasha. That is all Kavasha right there. Those dubs, those goals. He's getting them all. Let's see. I'm actually kind of stoked to see how he's going to do. In this uh, this first season. <laughs> oh boy. Not great though. We will check around. Uh, I don't think... I'm, uh, we could do it to predictions. I don't know. Uh, probably not. If you guys want to do the predictions, I guess we can. It's going to be weird. Uh, but yeah, I guess we could do the predictions still. We'll have some fun like that. Oh, what am I looking for? I'm like, hey, where are the playoffs? Oh, we're not in the playoffs. Oh, boy. Braden Burke, 36 points, minus 64. Absolute stallion. Benoit, 28 points, man. Minus, minus 52 goalies. Woo! And oh, my God, we had a guy over 90. Cam Johnson. An over 90 save percentage on this team. And <laughs> they're all rookies. <laughs> Kavash at 8 points in 20 games played. Not horrible. Not too horrible, I guess. And uh, let's check around the league. We won't have predictions up for this year quite, obviously. But uh, if you guys want to do the predictions, we could, we could start doing them. 100 points for Kane and Dabrinkit. See, that's why you don't trade Dabrinkit, you fucking morons. Um, Pasternak with 101 points. Goals, Matthews with 50. Assist leader was Dabrinkit with 73. Game winners. Who's the most clutch? Um. I guess it would be Kadri. Yeah. I'm looking at between him and Bergeron. It's a tough, tough call, but I think it's uh, Kadri. Um, Ovechkin, power play goal leader. The power play point leaders. Uh, Dabrinkit. Shorties. Three for Lowry. Shorty points. Six for Couturier. And let's check out the uh, possible Selkies. There's, oh my god, Kopitar, Couturier. Look at Couture's face-offs. Uh, Crosby, Bergeron. We don't see, what's his name? We don't see auto parts up here. 
Where's he at? Where's auto parts? Oh my god, we're gonna we're not gonna have auto parts up here? I guess not. Man just doesn't exist. He must have been injured. Absolutely must have been injured. Let me go by face off percentage. Cause he's gonna be up here. There he is. What the heck? He was did I just miss him? He is injured. But how did I miss him? It seems like he shouldn't have been. Anyway, there's O O O O'Reilly's. And we'll see. Ah, what am I doing? Skipping the game thing. Whatever, you know, I'll go to 50 anyway, because that's what I'm doing next. Uh, Quinn Hughes, probable no. Ah, they do like plus minus, but it's only differential. A 10, I think Quinn Hughes is taking home that Norris. That's for damn sure. Fox was a one-off. He's really not that good. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Every time, like, a fan, like a, a team starts getting good and their fan base is large, I just start, I just, like, it's like I'm drawn to start chirping them for no reason. Even if it just doesn't make sense. Like, right there. Uh, Flurry. What a boss. What a boss, man. <laughs> he actually, he's going to take over. Look at that. He wasn't even on a tremendous team either. Look at that record. And look what he did. Because that's what Flurry does. And giving him away from, for free is stupid. Good job, Flurry. Zegris. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting. This is like technically the rookie. Yeah, I forget. We're like a year back. 76 points for Zegris. Calder, baby. Calder all the way. Besides, uh, you know, Mo. But, yeah. Although Swayman had... Okay, didn't play that often, but real if he was a starter, man. How to give him a firm, firm shot at that. All right, we'll do the fun stats here. Hits. Soft league. No one even hit 200. Soft! Barwieski, baby! Marketing extraordinaire. Best friends with Ottawa ownership. Oh, man. 20 fights for him. McEwen and everyone else is trash. All right. Well, that's cool. All right. So there we are. And that is our first season here. I'll give you guys a check. Uh, you know, I'll check out the uh, growth. See if uh, Kavasha grew anymore. Maybe his offensive awareness, please. I don't think so. He's up to an 84, though. Fuck. His offensive awareness isn't moving. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't be one of those guys. We need that offensive awareness. Oh, boy. He's an 84, though, so sick growth in his first year, but, uh, oh, boy. Can your offensive awareness go up, please? That would be nice. And I'll give you guys a look at what the draft class is looking like. Of course, you kind of know what's coming in at the top, um, but I'll sort by this because uh, there's a nice goaltender here. It might be a little, He's going to be high starter minimum now, so uh, that's nice. I'm real excited about possibly getting him. Boom, I'm going to get him no matter what. Maybe we even get Shane Wright. You never know. But uh, there's some there's some good good solid talent obviously in the top. So I would likely go for maybe if I can't get right maybe go for one of these other guys who's uh, EA generated. But unfortunately they're playmakers. I do prefer EA generated guys over real ones. They often they just seem like they often perform better in the simulation. So no real other steals besides that. No low elite steals. But we do have some nice top sixes outside of quote quote you know quote unquote normal areas. Like, we might even be able to get this guy in the second round. Maybe this guy. Uh, no, he's going to be too late for the third. Unless he drops. But, hey. Some some potential there. This guy could. You know, you never know. Maybe he's a top six. Trying to scout him. Any defenseman. You know, there's a low six here. That's probably worth grabbing. Just because, you know. We're going to have to live off of these kind of guys. We're not going to be able to get elites everywhere. And even, you know, top nines may even come into play here. But we're not going to actively seek them out. But yeah, that's about it. Not a whole crazy great amount here. But that's it. The draft. The first entry level draft of this. Well, I guess it's technically second year, but you know, first year of any other normal franchise mode, I think. Right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, because we are after this last season. Anyway. As my, as my brain goes bonkers here, that will wrap things up. The draft will be in the next one. Guys, I hope you're going to enjoy this. I'm excited about this challenge. It'll be a fun way to wrap up NHL 22 franchise mode and prepare ourselves to get into NHL 23. So hit that like button, of course, and I'll see you in the next one.